Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. For today's video, we will look on how to create a summary from your Excel table. Okay, here I have Excel table and over here I have the summary that is done uh, on the table and, and we have the total for the each product, the average as well as the count for each product that we have in this table. Okay. So I'm going to show you how you can get this summary from this table over here that uh, is pretty large, you know, uh, around uh, almost uh, a thousand rows. Okay. So let's go to a new copy over here, and this is the raw data that I have before I created the Excel table. Okay. See that you want to have a summary for this data set, but you cannot use a pivot table. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Excel tables. Okay, so here we have the date, we have the product, the unit shipped, as well as the sales. Okay, and in this particular large Excel, this is a, a large Excel uh, file. Uh, we have almost a thousand rows, like I showed you earlier. Now the first thing is I want to be able to sort the product value, okay? So, uh, in fact, you don't have to sort it, okay? What I want is to, yes, we have to sort the product value. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to come over here to the um, product value, okay? And here we want to go to the data tab. And we're going to choose advanced. Okay, what we're doing is we're going to filter, uh, use the advanced filter, and here we're going to copy to another location. The list range will be uh, the product column. Okay, so I'm going to Come over here to the header. Come over here to the header of the the column for the product, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift plus the down arrow. Okay, this will select all the values that are in this column, and um, we will be also extracting the unique unique records only and for the criteria range we don't have to do anything about it and I want to have um, the data copy to the F column so let's just put F1 and then click OK okay so now we have the product value as well as the header as well as the the different types of products over here okay one two three four five we have five types of product okay so what i just did was i used the advanced filter to extract column b the different type of products that appeared in that column okay so what we want for this uh, excel data is to achieve is to achieve is to get a summary but before that, we want to convert the data into a table. So just come to this Excel data here, select any cell, and come to the Insert tab and Insert Table. Okay, so this asks you, do you want to create a table? So click OK. And for the design, I'm going to choose over here in the design tab for the table you can choose the different design I'm going to, I'm just going to choose um, let's see let's have a moderate design okay let's choose this one okay and what we can do is I'm going to apply the formatting for the header to here See, so you right click, click on the brush, and you apply the format to here. Okay, 
Okay, next I want what I want to do is to create name ranges for the product field as well as the sales field. Okay, we want to create the name range. So we already have the name range here created because I, I did it for the, the different copy just now. We have the product range name range as the sale and the sales name range. So the product name range will be over here all the way down to the last uh, product and the sales range will be here this column over here okay so I've already named it so if you want to name a name range it's very easy uh, you can just come here use the keyboard shortcut Control shift F3 and you can no, before you do that you have to select the whole uh, Row. So we have to you just click on the the labels. Use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift N, and then use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3, and then you can name the name range. Okay, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it this time. So now the name range is done. Um, let's uh, come over here and type in total average and count okay these are the three things that i want to get the summary that i want to get for this excel data set so once again i'm going to copy the formatting right click use the brush select these cells and you can get the formatting done Okay, so now let's use the sum if function. Okay, we want to get the total of sales for this product over here in this Excel data set. So let's come over here and type in sum function. Okay, so you start with equal sum if. Okay, and use the function auto complete. And at this moment, I want to press use the shortcut Control A to open up the function arguments. So for the range, we are going to use the name range for the product. So we are going to use the keyboard shortcut F3 and select the product for the name range. Okay. As for the criteria, we will be using the sales. So once again, we will use the F3 shortcut. Over here. And select sales. And click OK. Alright. Let me start again. I think this for the name range, we will be using the product. And for the criteria, we will be using the part. We will be looking for the sales for the specific product, okay, which is this one, okay. And then we want to look for the sales for this product in this column over here. So the sum range is the sales, okay. So. Um, for this function, we will be looking in this range over here, the product column, and we will be focusing on the graphic design software product, and we want to know how much sales that we get, particularly for this product alone. So we we'll click OK, and the amount of sales that we sales that we get for this particular product is this amount. Okay, so let's put in the dollar sign. Okay and remove the decimals okay so now we can just auto fill uh, the, the columns below to get the amount for each product all right so we have the total of sales for each product over here extracted from this excel table Right. So next, we are going to use the average if function. Okay. 
for this we are going to get the average for the, the, the particular product that we have so we're going to start with equal again and type in average I'm going to use the function autocomplete press tab at this moment press ctrl A and we will see the function argument dialog box so for the range once again I want to look for is in the product name range so I'm going to use uh, F3 and select the product name range and the criteria will be same we will select the, the particular product and for the average the criteria should be over here and the average is the name range for the sales click ok and we will get the average so let's copy the formatting and apply over here ok and then we will do the auto fill like this okay let's see yep okay so amazingly all the average is the same <laughs> and now that we have the count uh, the count for each product in the Excel data. For this, we will use the count if function. Okay, uh, this function will be a little bit different. Um, so let's type in the function equals count. Use the function auto complete. Use Control A to open up the argument. So in this function, we only have two arguments. And for the range, we will use once again we will use F3 and we will select the product name range. And for the criteria, we will look for how many times did this graphic design software appear in this data range. So we are going to use uh, graphic design software. I'm going to click OK. So the amount of times that the graphic design software appeared in this Excel table is 142 times. So let's autofill and see what numbers we get. Okay, so every product have a different count in this Excel table. So that is how you can create a summary from an Excel table uh, if you are not allowed to use the pivot table. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial video.